Hello, everyone. Welcome to um, presentation for Comstock Inc., Comstock Mining. We will be making some forward-looking statements today, so <laughs> you know, please, uh, please acknowledge that. So I have a great pleasure to uh, give you guys an update on where Comstock has come over the last decade, and also uh, to present a partner that's working with us in advanced technology. And if I'm um, good enough at it, I'll let him do more of the talking than I do. So Comstock today has three lines of businesses. We own and control a 12 square mile gold and silver mining district. We've got over 900,000 ounces of measured indicated inferred gold in two recent technical reports. We have over 8 million ounces of silver and we own and control the entire district. We also have businesses in renewable energy including lithium ion battery recycling, including wood to biofuels, but we're here to talk about the mining district and the technology that's being developed and being deployed for advanced discovery of these minerals. The district is vast and it's contiguous, but it's important for me to let you know that historically, we had mined over 192 million ounces of silver and over 8 million ounces of gold. It was the largest discovery of silver in the United States at the time. And all of it was mined on small claims with picks and shovels. What we did is consolidate the entire district, consolidate all of the data from 1859 until today, and then use that data for advanced discovery. We also did it in a remarkably environmentally responsible way. We've won the top awards in the state of Nevada for reclamation alongside Newmont, alongside Kinross, and we've won the top awards uh, for safety because we're a fully permitted and we're fully operating in the mining district. We have a star team, and I think they mentioned booth 534. You'll see Mike Norad, Zach Spencer, and the rest of our mining guys manning the booth. Please do come visit, but you'll also meet Deep and the, um, the GenMat team, which I'm gonna introduce here in a minute. So I, I'd like to introduce, introduce my partner, Deep Prasad. So Deep is on the bleeding edge of developing quantum programs and quantum sensing capability that we believe fully is gonna revolutionize the mining industry. I'm gonna let him talk about what they're doing and how they're doing it but suffice it to say that Comstock as a company has about 35 employees, including our geologists, including our mining engineers. Deep has about 35 employees. Separate from Comstock, we are an investee in GenMat that Deep founded. But he's working with machine learners He's working with programmers, he's working with geophysicists, he's working with condensed matter physicists, and with chemists. So this is one of the most advanced technological companies in the space. And what we're planning to do together is combine our capabilities with our mining platform and their technology platform to do what? take an existing district with millions of ounces of precious metals already in place, but also millions and millions and millions of ounces that we have not yet discovered, and use hyperspectral imaging for high precision mining and prospecting, and ultimately increase the probability of what we're looking to discover, increase the certainty of what we have, and decrease the environmental impact of how we do all of that. The district is fully consolidated. Everything here that's colored is owned by us. We've identified seven areas of high value concentration and we've only identified resources in a tiny fraction of those areas. I mentioned how many ounces we have. They're existing in technical reports. And I mentioned that um, we have a long, long way to go, but this is where I want to pivot and segue to deep. In 2008, we used handheld magnetometers to identify magnetic anomalies. Every hole that we drilled from those signatures, we hit gold and silver on. 
two years ago, we used an airborne um, geophysical survey of the entire district. But today, we're launching a hyperspectral imager into orbit in May or June that will start to give us data that our advanced um, artificial intelligence, our advanced programs will be able to take and predict much more strongly where those gold and silvers are. And I wanna now introduce Deep and hand the presentation over to Deep to explain a bit more on how we're doing that. All right, thank you so much for that, Corrado. Um, I know I have a few minutes here, so I'll try to keep it brief. Uh, if you have any other deeper technical questions, feel free to come find us at the Comstock booth. Um, we're around. So um, first of all, what is GenMat? Well, GenMat is trying to enable a circular economy of advanced materials. We want entire countries and companies to be able to have complete vertically integrated supply chains if they're using advanced materials such as building EV batteries, semiconductors, and so on. So one half of the business works on simulating these advanced materials and building artificial intelligent algorithms that try to find new materials faster and better quality materials than a human can. And then the other part of the business works on developing this sensor fusion platform that we're developing for mining applications and other geostatistical methods. Um, so first of all, some interesting things about our sensor platform. The first sensors we're developing in this overall what we call quantum sensor fusion platform is something called space-based hyperspectral sensors. Uh, hyperspectral sensors um, are different than normal multispectral sensors in the sense that they have a number of contiguous bands. This uh, increase or higher number of bands gives you more fidelity into the electromagnetic signature of the object you're imaging meaning we get more chemical and physical information per picture of any mining site or prospecting site we're looking at than a regular camera or regular multispectral imager would. Now, another interesting innovation is that the sensors that we're uh, working with, these are some of the world's first hyperspectral sensors ever to be deployed into space. Uh, we're working with SpaceX as our launch uh, provider. This sensor is uh, six times more powerful than NASA's based on the ground sampling distance, and it has 200 more bands than any publicly available satellite hyperspectral sensor out there today. So now, why would you use this? This tech sounds cool, but what's the point of it? So first of all, by using hyperspectral sensors, we reduce the necessary cost uh, incurred in uh, drill cores and finding out where exactly to drill. So you can reduce your exploration cost by looking at um, different mineralization zones and so on. And another important aspect of uh, what hyperspectral can help with is that you can look at reducing environmental harms. Because you see, as you have tailings and you leave tailings in your environment, you affect the environment negatively. For example, you might acidify and increase the acidification of the environment around you. These things show up very crystal clearly to a hyperspectral camera. So you can monitor daily, uh, every 24 hours, how you're affecting the environment around you. You can also do interesting things like stockpile management. So because of the GSD that we have today, we will be able to help the mining customer or company better determine where their higher grade ores are and what the exact distribution of the high grade and low grade ores are within those stockpiles. Um, so this combination of uh, technologies and applications, we believe, will be really, really revolutionary uh, to mining. And you know, this is just the beginning. So uh, we're starting to partner with uh, Comstock, um, and uh, you know, Comstock uh, will be our first uh, base case. We're going to be working with gold and silver, but of course, this works for rare earths and other precious metals and so on. So, thank you.